All right, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to make this epic build even more epic? That's right, today I'm planning on building a roof on this thing. Hello, everybody, I'm Drawing Chaos, and welcome to another episode of Satisfactory, where we continue to work on this amazing palace. And today, I think it's time to start working on the roof and seeing what we can do up there. Now, as you can tell, this is a chonkers of a boy and I've been working on it for quite some time a total of 318 hours sheesh that is quite some time but it is looking gorgeous so to give you a quick little recap of where we're at I started working on the beginning stuff mostly the center and where we come in and as you can see right here it's actually coming along quite nicely with some unique patterns I've also started working on the interior parts of it as well, especially these nice big areas or giant hallways going all the way down. But I also wanted to focus on what we we're going to do about power for this build. And as you can see here, I got plenty of uh, nuclear power plants. And of course, I want to make sure there was plenty of water to be running all of these. So I got a few water extractors down here ready to go. It's like one of those mirror rooms you look at where it's like an infinity mirror. <laughs> and then of course I decided to work on the manufacturers making all the uranium fuel rods as well as all the other stuff that's needed to make its components so that it can all be made in one easy to locate spot. Well ladies and gentlemen that's neither here nor there for today's project is the roof. So the real question is how are we going to actually do the roof? And that's honestly going to be anybody's guess because I got to figure this out and okay okay hold on hold on let me do my process. All right so let's see let's see this is um it's a giant palace, okay, all right, we got structural supports on the back, a lot of round areas, hmm, oh, oh, I got it, I got it, I got it, all right, all right, all right, follow along, follow along, this is, all right, stay with me, so it's a lot of squares, all right, rectangles, circles, where do we go from this, oh, oh, I got it, triangles, that's the answer, it's been there the whole time. Illuminati confirmed. Let's make triangles the roof. Here's what I'm thinking. So if I go over here and I take the ramp, I can build said ramp over here, switch over to the double ramp, and we're going to want to zoop this all the way up. Then I can have like a giant archway going over there. Ah, but that's going to be too bland and kind of like lame. What if I raise it up? What if I actually like bring up, say, this going across, something like this. We'll have this one going here. Then we'll build a nice little wall, so kind of like here. Oh, wrong button. Whoops. Have that kind of built up, going vertical, kind of like so. We'll have that over here. Then we'll start going together. So it'll be on the same height as that one over there. Ah, uh, but then how are we going to do this one because it's a nice circle? I mean, I could do it similar to that. I think I have an idea. All right, so let me build out some stuff and see what I go with. This is going to be an interesting one because there's a lot of open space to take care of. Well, I got to say two hours in and I've got a great idea. So I decided to build a balcony with these little struts coming over right over here. And then I used these framed walls as a kind of fence so you could still look over, but of course you're safe. And I had them going through the center because I felt like that was the right appropriate way to do it. Then I decided to put a curve archway going across there. Then this is going to be the best part. Check this out. I'm going to grab a ramp. And on the top of it, I'm going to actually put a ramp going over here, then go into the double ramp and double ramp. Let's zoop that up, going all the way across here. And then, of course, on the other side, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put ourselves a nice little ramp. Oh, I freaking zooped it. I forgot about that. And then a double ramp going across there. Let's get rid of the little excess. And we have this nice little cop out right at the top. And then I'll do similar what I had over there. And we'll have that going all the way across. Then we'll do the same thing over here, having that across there. And then all I got to do is figure out what I want to do with the round part that's going to be there in the front. But there's one little flaw with that. I have all this open space over here. And unfortunately, I can't just have this like 
slightly curved down going all the way across. I gotta figure out what I want to put in this big area. I have some ideas, and they all rhyme with Rones. <laughs> but uh, let me finish off this and see what inspiration hits me. Four more hours down, and the view is a breathtaking. Ugh. So let's just say the top part of this is looking gorgeous, especially from this side. And as you can see, I even came up with a topper part for the edge of it, you know, incorporating the circles, but also incorporating what I did over there. And when you look at it from the front, it really completes with the whole theme of what we're going, you know, that nice little gothic look kind of going. Like, almost like a gothic cathedral, like, uh, oh god, what is the name of that one? Oh god, what is the name? Hold on. Famous cathedrals. I didn't just search that. Don't worry about that. Images. Oh god, it's got to be one of these. 22, world's most beautiful cathedral. I mean, but basically you can see the general idea of what I was going for. Ooh, look, I can actually make my cathedral with the nice little stuff in it. That'd be awesome. But back to the Palace of Chaos. So I finished off this center area to match up with that going across. I also use these radar towers as little isolating points in the four corners. And I was really trying to figure out what exactly to do over here, and... I have an idea. What I'm thinking is, if I grab out one of these, let's come over here if I can actually see it. And then bring that down. This will be our nice little cutoff point. This is a 5x5 five five square, uh, similar to what we have on all the nuclear power plants. That what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a foundation and I'm going to build underneath here. And of course that is going to be built all the way across. Then I'm going to go into my stuff, transportation, and we're going to put a drone port. And the reason I built it like that is because, check this out, right here looks good. So with that being built, one foundation down, what I can do then is I can actually take the foundations, fill up the nice little gaps around it, because the drone port is only a 3x3, three three, and by putting in the 2 meter one, I can actually get to the stuff underneath. Now it's perfectly right there on the top. And then of course what I think I'm going to do is if I go into material, material, that's what it is, I can put some like asphalt on the top, that'll look great, and then of course, what is it? Patterns. If we put a pattern on here, what if we put like a, like an aerial one, you know, like, watch out, there's drones coming in. How about this? How does this look? Yeah, I think something like that going around the edges, that'd probably be looking cool, right? Kind of like a warning, but, and then maybe a fence or something. I don't know, but this is looking good. I like this idea. Then if we have drone ports on e up here, like anything that we need can come in from the sky anywhere across the map. You know, wherever we don't have the trains to go. And with a measly three hours, we did it. Our drone force fleet is complete. This truly looks amazing. Unfortunately, I haven't finished building the other side, but I also did come up with what I was going to do with this extra space over here. I made a wonderful, beautiful awning. Now this awning looks amazing and is really good, but also serves no purpose than to hide whatever I'm going to put up here. Uh, this is what I wish Coffee Stain would have done though. If I had like more stuff in here, like say I had a foundation of dirt that I could put up there, I could build like something around it and have like little dirt pits and maybe put like plants and stuff like that. You know, really green up the area. Because unfortunately you look at it and there's like no green to it whatsoever. Unless I paint it green, but you know, who wants to do that? But the floor is looking a little flat, unfortunately. I'm going to have to find something to do about that later, as I want to continue working on the rest of it, especially the other side. I'm going to have to redo everything that I did over here on the other side all the way over there, and that should be fun. Okay, so fun was a strong word, as I spent 10 hours to get that side and that side to match up perfectly and that's not even gonna account for what I have to do for the middle part because God knows what we're gonna do with that next but boy is it looking amazing this is a build for the ages let me get back and see what it looks like from a distance 
All right, let's get the whole thing in there. Maybe a little bit higher. Nope. And there's too much fog. Oh, yeah, that is a chonkers of a boy. But man, is it looking beautiful. Really testing out my render distance over here. All right, then of course we have to see it from the back and my God, does it look good. Oh, that is gonna be beautiful. Ooh, it does blend in quite nicely though with everything else. And then of course my favorite part is if you're on a boat looking on the edges of that. Oh, that's gonna be so cool. But enough gawking, ladies and gentlemen. Time to work on the next problem. This center part. So there's a lot of room over here to take up. And of course, we're not going to be able to just put some triangles on it. Well, not with that attitude anyway. What I'm thinking is if we put like a box kind of squared off, then put a smaller box on top, then put a circle on top, something like that to really, you know, emphasize the top. I want that nice big palace look. And then next we're going to have to figure out how we can incorporate this nice round area over there into it. Because I don't want to just kind of fold it over like I did with the edges. I kind of want to have something big and grand. I mean, or I could just put a looking glass on there so I can look out into the unrendering distance. Man, they really need like a giant fog to be over there. So it's like, why you don't go over that way? That'd be cool as hell. But anyway, let me start working on that and we'll get something going. All right, let's add another four hours into the mix and let's see what we got. So I started off with the base platform that was going to be the same height as the top one. And then this kind of gives us a nice platform to start our, our center spiral on or whatever I'm going to call this thing. It fits in perfectly going across because it gives it a cropping point, but also keeps everything a little bit above it so it's easier to see. And as you can see, the design flows very nicely all together. I didn't want to delete the nice little round edge top thing that I had going on over there. I wanted to keep it. So this was my best way of incorporating it there. And then of course I added a train in here just for funsies. As you can see, I utilized the top of the roof to go into there as well as in the front, but I did not do the back just yet. I want to leave this part really open until I do the final part about it because everything else is just looking so good and well put together, but this, this right here is probably going to be the most difficult part. So in terms of this top spot, this right here is going to be a big kind of platform if you think about it. And then on top of that, it's going to get nice and small because I want to do a nice circular build going all the way across. Kind of something like, kind of something like that, but up here in the center and quite higher, of course. But as you can see, this is perfect like fog distance, but if I sit down right on this height, there's no fog. So I want to build something a little bit higher, at least fog height, which is not too much higher than that. So we're going to try and build, I'm thinking like if I build like a pyramid kind of thing, you know, a different level, similar to how I did the stairs, but much bigger. Then we can put the top platform all the way over here. So if we're looking off, we can look off into the fog and see all the cool stuff in the distance. But it's still quite hidden. And I think that would look amazing. And speaking of looking quite amazing, check this out. If we come up here... Three hours very well spent. Yes, this center column right here, this platform, if you will, is looking just gorgeous. I used a very good design, but I might want to add some extra detail in it, eh, you know, later on. But putting this nice little blue thing going all the way across it really makes it shine. And then of course, as you can see, I added little details in the middle of it. But when you look at it from a distance, you can kind of see them. They really add in extra lines, which really guide your eye. Then, of course, the top platform on the platform, which is kind of fun to say. Nice little pyramid, as I said. But I put an extra little, like, viewing thing right here in the front. So if I was standing at the edge, I can look over my vast empire. But, of course, the fog is going to be on. So you get a kind of like a hint of what's out there. But if you go down to the other one, boop, you can actually see what it looks like without the fog. So you get some more detail. So it's kind of cool to go from either one of them if I wanted to. 
But the great thing about this is I added in the nice little hint of color and everything, which looks so good. Especially if I put this in the night. I'm going to actually change it tonight. I want to see how it looks. I haven't looked just yet, but I think it's going to look great at night. So if we set time, because I have that power, I can go to zero and oh my god. That is beautiful. Look at that. Ooh, with the red, the blue, and all that kind of stuff. Oh, that is gorgeous. That is amazing. Ah, oh, I love it. But of course, there's still much more work to be done. And for that, we're going to need daylight. So set time to noon. Ah, there we go. And we can continue working on the nice little top part right here. So now I want to build a nice little circle thing over here, more of like a cylinder with a, kind of a cap on the top, similar to how I have that one over there, you know, something where it's like nice and round on the top, but as round as it can be, considering you won't be able to see it from the top, because actually most of this stuff, if I fly all the way down here, that was cool, uh, you can't really see too much that's going to be up there. But of course, I still have this nice little viewing platform, and yes, you can see everything and it is looking good. Even the roof over there is not looking too bad. Honestly, if I could put like a viewing platform up on this nice little rock that has the uranium node, this would just look amazing so I can actually come to the edge and just look over at the brilliance of it. That looks just so freaking good. I can't wait to get the top part on it. That'll really set this palace to the next level. Well, I guess this means level up, baby. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. But did I put too many struts on here, you think? I should probably get rid of, like, half of them. Oh, but this is looking so cool. Yeah, I'm probably going to go through and I'm probably going to get rid of some more of these struts that are across here. Because it looks like way too much. But other than that, it is looking gorgeous. And it is like the perfect topper. Actually, like a birthday cake mostly, but oh, that is looking so good. The further you go away, the better it looks. Well, not that far away, but like right there, that is brilliant. I love that. That looks amazing, especially with the moon planet over there. So I got this over here, decided to put these on top. I might have to get rid of half of them. I'm thinking about that. And I also want to get rid of probably half of those because there's too many of those. But other than that, it's looking good. Even gave it the nice little green topper because I needed more green in my diet. Actually, this needed more color than just red. And I'm glad I went with green and they added blue because it really gives it a nice cool feeling. And then as you can see from the inside, it is just looking gorgeous i love it but i do need to figure out some extra stuff but right now it is just looking ah oh, it's looking so good i can't contain myself i'm so proud of myself for being able to make this and just having this look over everything else oh but that's the next thing wait i want to i want to finish this off i thought of something perfect for this remember the space elevator well what if we had the space elevator in here Maybe not this top part right here, because I think that would be, like, way too high. But maybe a little bit lower. I could put it in this main area right here, then the thing would stick out on the top. Or even better, I could put it all the way down to the bottom, and then it'll go all the way up there. Alright, I want to test out this one first, and then if it doesn't look right, we'll put it on the top one. So, step number one, deconstruct the space elevator. Bye, buddy. I just turned around to go back and I saw that and this kind of still looks taller, but you know, perspective is a funny thing. All right, let's start off right here. So we got to go into our build menu, special space elevator. So when you want to do this, you want to aim beforehand, then go in the menu, click the space elevator and bam, right there. Oh god, that is like perfect spacing. That is beautiful. The only question is, uh, how will it fit with the thing coming straight down? Come on, baby. It's definitely going to come right through the glass. 
Oh, cool. Look at the reflection. I love that. That is beautiful. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. I, I might have to delete some flooring to get that right. Okay. Maybe a little bit off, but not too bad. Oh, it actually pulls it down a little bit. All right, let's go to the next floor and see how that looks. Okay, so in terms of the next floor, all I would have to do is like delete the inner circle and have this bigger circle open. And I think it would fit perfectly going all the way to the top. The one question is that little topper part that was over there, I gotta see where it goes through. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wait, wait, that is gonna affect something, hold on. That is gonna affect something, hold on, let me take a look at this. Uh, oh wow, no! Jeez, okay, so if I didn't have all this stuff on the top here, this would be a topper. Hmm. Alright, quick thing, I wanna delete these radar towers and see how that looks. Alright, and delete all those, and... No, that is just too close. If we could have it higher, that would be better. Maybe if we go from the other floor to the middle floor, that'll be better for the top. Because that is way too close. Okay, just like before, you want to aim it perfectly in the center before you pull it. And then... There we go. And yeah, this room's not as done as the other one, but definitely, definitely... There's plenty of space to go around. And here we go. Once this gets into position, we can check to see how the top looks. But at least there'll be plenty of space for me to put in whatever I need to to make this look gorgeous. Depending on how tall I want it and everything. Alright, the moment of truth. How does it look? Like from right here, that is amazing. That's like the perfect cap right there. But from a distance... Oh, that is a good height. Oh, that is a great height. I don't know if I want the toppers on it or not. That looks just perfect right like this. I think we're just going to keep it like that. That is gorgeous. Oh my god, I love that. I love that. Here, wait, let's get rid of this. There we go. Oh, that is beautiful right there. Oh my god. It just needs one small thing. There we go. See what I did? Well, how about I get a little bit closer? See it now? Well, maybe I can get a little bit closer in again. Zoom and enhance. Zoom and enhance. I put these lookout towers all the way across, and I really do think they add something extra to it. But let me know down in the comments section what you think. But another thing that I added in was this lookout area over here. So if we stop flying for a second, we can actually take a look at this. It looks so cool coming over here, looking down, and then looking out into the distance where you can just go right up against the fence. That is just perfect, amazing. And then of course you look back and you see this. That is freaking glorious. But if you like what you see, don't forget to give this video a nice big thumbs up. And of course, leave a comment with anything you want to say. I read every single comment because I'm just OP like that. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe because every subscription means a lot to me. And I do appreciate all of them. I thank you all for subscribing and believing in me so I can finish this wonderful thing. I should probably say, like, hit the notification bell, too, but does anybody really do that? I like hitting those so you can actually see, like, videos when they come up brand new. You know, certain channels and whatnot. So, if you want to see mine all brand new when they first come out, you know, be the first to check it out. Or at least it stays on your video feed longer. Don't forget to hit the bell, because it's amazing. But that being said, it is done, and it is looking amazing, and I think I need to go for now. Because we're at... God, how many hours have we put in so far? 
What? 350 hours? Sheesh! I need a life. Uh, but for 350 hours, everything is looking great. We have so much more to do, but that will be on the next episode. Anyway, guys, have a lovely day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye, buddy.